Hello, my name is Morizuk and I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to create an app inventor to app inventor extension. So first of all, you need to have these three uh, these five packages installed. So first of all, you need to have Java JDK installed. Um, and it has to be a latest version, uh, version Java 8 update 131, update 131. And you need to have Apache Ant installed. And you also have to install Python, especially if, if you are going to use Windows operating system. And number four, you have to clone App Inventor Services from the GitHub. Uh, I'm sorry. Number five, you need to install Git Bash. So all of these packages can be obtained by, you know, googling them. You can get them by googling them. So, for example, if you want to install JDK, you can Google download. JDK download JDK this will take you to the to the Oracle site equally you can Google download Apache Ant Apache Ant so it will take you to the okay to the official site this is it I'm sorry that my internet is not passed so you can go to the download section here and choose the binary this site the binary and you can also scroll down and select the latest version that is 1.10.1 not mine all right the next is to also google the git bash also Google the git bash this one git bash also Google the git bash uh, take you to the download site git and choose windows then install so I have them already installed so there is no need for me to reinstall them alright and um, the next is to clone the you know app inventor sources so you can do that by googling the app inventor sources app inventor source so this is the official site of okay so you can click on this one to that will take you to the github site so you have an option as whether to install whether to clone or you can download the source so you download the zip file like this or the zip file the source is like this so I have to cancel it because I already have one to cancel the download because I already have one so so after installing the Apache Ant after installing the Apache Ant then you can you can you can extract extract Apache to C drive you can extract the zip file to C drive and you can also install Python okay I forgot to tell you you have to install Python especially if you are running Windows you Google download Python download Python so this is the Python official site you can choose the type. Okay, download Python 
Python 2.7. I use 2.7. I don't know which one is, but I just use the 2.7.13. Sure. So after after unzipping the Apache and this is how you will see it in the in so I, I unzip it here inside this folder in, in the C drive so I have one also here so whatever so and this is the app inventor sources I unzip inside my local C drive I unzip it inside a folder called AI whatever but you can name uh, you can name your folder any anything you like but so this folder cannot have cannot contain a white space this folder where is where you unzip the app inventor sources cannot contain a, a white space so there should be a there should be no white space uh, in naming the folder so 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 you install both the software you downloaded install the ZDK you install the you unzip the Apache and inside the C drive and you install the Python so you already downloaded the app inventor sources from the github and you extracted the source inside a folder in C drive called AI and you have the git bash uh, already installed so what next now is to set up set up the environment variable set up the environment variables so set up the environment variables all right in in Windows operating system we can right click on my computer and go to properties you know after going to properties there is an option called advanced system settings so so after after clicking on the advanced system settings you click on the environment variables so first of all we need to have you know we you need to have we need to have to, we need to set up the java home this is it java home can you see so so you you click to to add a java home you click on new then here write java home and here write the path to the jdk the path to the jdk so my install my jdk inside the program files java jdk 1.8 so this is the path so if you want to take the path go to C drive then go to program pipes where you install your Java and choose a folder called Java so so inside it I have many JDKs installed so inside it there is one JDK update 131 this one okay 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 this this is it okay you see so if you click on this space so you can copy the path so after copying the path by pressing ctrl c and you can uh, you go to variable value and paste it like this then after that uh, then you can click on ok that you set up the java home i hope you understand all right and the next thing is to set up the Java options because in most cases we some most people experience uh, certain problems if they don't set up this Java option so to set up Java options so you can click on new then you add this symbol underscore then Java options Java options, whatever. Java op options. So, so 
and here you write another underscore you write xmx xmx 1 gb 1020 m right then you click ok you set up java option right so and you can go down to the system variable here we are under user variables so you can go back you can go down to system variable and go down to system variable and and create an anthem an anthem is 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 is, is a variable passed to the apache ant you just extracted to see bright so so you click on new the process is the same and you click you write and harm you write and tap so so to 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 copy the path or the uh, the the be home to, to put the URL you go to your C drive and you look at the folder where you, you is where you extracted the ant this is where I extracted mine then you choose the blank space here and copy the path and you paste it here by control V so after then you click OK you have set up the home for the ant right so next is to set up the path or or you can also set up the ant options and options is you create a variable and opts and minus xmx256 whatever minus xmx256 so uh, and the next is to set up the path oh is to set up the path so so oh, Next is to set up the path. Okay. Uh, this is my path. So I have to set up a path for. First of all, I have to set up a path for the git. The git bash you install. So this is the path when you install it inside the program pipes and secondly you have to set up a path for git bin in the binary folder right and thirdly you have to set up the path for the python Lib library folder then then uh, you have to you also have to set up the path for java this is java program data oracle java java path whatever so you have to set up a path for the one uh, for the one uh, Python live live folder. You can check the install directory for the Python you just installed and the git bind folder give bind folder so yeah and also python python bind folder git bind stroke live folder both of which so after installing, after configuring or after setting the path, then you can you can 